Also tonight, a bridge not far enough. The South Norfolk Jordan Bridge remains closed for a fifth day on the Portsmouth side. And we're hearing it'll be several more days at the earliest before it reopens. It comes after Friday's fire at the Wheelabrator plant. Manage the conveyor belt, mangle the conveyor belt across the bridge's western foot. With that duck teetering, bridge officials can't take any chances. Shannon, your signs, Andy Fox is live with more on a timetable to get it all fixed. Andy? Yeah, Tom and Lena, you can see cars coming over on the Jordan Bridge from the Chesapeake side, but not from the Portsmouth side. Hopefully that will start to change on Tuesday and Wednesday when the big equipments come in to fix what fire burned up. Last Friday, something caught fire on the trash conveyor belt that takes the trash inside the wheel abrader plant facility that creates energy. When that happened, it jeopardized the integrity of the trash conveyor structure. And what did that mean? Well, it meant cars could not drive under what had caught fire and they closed down the Portsmouth Elm Avenue entrance to the South Norfolk Jordan Bridge. General Manager Kevin Crum. This is a major economic impact and a traffic impact to not only the businesses, but also the residents here in Portsmouth and, and, and on the Chesapeake side use the bridge every day and use the Elm Avenue route. That has inconvenienced thousands of drivers every day. Drivers like Clarence Folks. I have to drive around. My lifestyle is an extra 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes easily. Each way? Each way. Drivers from the Chesapeake side are able to access industrial businesses and parking lots for the Norfolk Naval Shipyard. We've remained open on the Chesapeake side to support the um, parking areas of the shipyard and the local businesses that are essentially landlocked from this situation. Uh, but it has impacted our traffic. You know, we've lost two thirds of our daily traffic. These are the tolls, but Crum has no idea how much it has cost and lost revenue, not to mention the traffic. On a, on a weekday basis. So it is having a significant impact, which certainly that's an impact to us, but it also affects the other roadways. So the downtown tunnel now has, you know, an additional you know, six to 7,000 cars a day. Yeah, and it's been costing the Jordan Bridge a lot of money. Now, it's hoped by the end of next week that everything is back open, and we're keeping our fingers crossed for that. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.